I just still can't believe how big this thing is. I have no idea where I will put this in my apartment. I have no idea, but it, it, it's, it's glorious. It's glorious, it's huge, it's nice. There is room for everything. Hey everyone, this is Zotagos and yes, it's time. I finally got the Wingspan nesting box. Um, I've been really wanting it for a while and it's really hard to get it. Um, it will release um, this year in German as well, I think in fall. So I'm thinking about getting that as well, but I don't know if I can like, if I wanna have like two of these huge nesting boxes at home um, because this is huge. It may not look that way because you think like, okay, well actually um, it is like, the standard size of a board game and a little bit more. Yeah, that's true, but <laughs> this is this is really huge. This is a huge, huge box. Um, it was a shock um, looking at that first, but now I really like it. I mean, it looks great. Just look at that. Like, look at that toucan here. Really nice. I got the second printing, as you can see here. I got number 4,867 of 5,000, so quite high, actually. So probably one of the last um, the last ones that were printed. And here we have like a few penguins and owls. So this nesting box looks amazing. We have like the black swan here, which is part of the Asian, Asia expansion, I think. Oh man, that, you know, that's what I'm saying. It's huge. And then we have ostrich and a raven, also the crow. I think it's a raven. And here a rooster. And at the very back, we have an eagle, which is, by the way, my most favorite bird. Okay, cool. And that is, oh, these are both the wrong way, the top and the bottom, I will have to fix that. So, wow, this is huge. Um, <laughs> this is really huge and the game isn't even in here. It's really heavy. And as I said, the game isn't even in here, so that is incredible. So let's take a look at that. So you see like you have like a pretty big top. It's like almost like it's separated almost halfway here. Um, so looking forward to see how that one looks like. So this video is divided into two parts. First of all, we take a look at the nesting box and then I will put all the games in here because I do of course have the base game and all the expansions. I will put all of that in here and then show you how that looks like. So just use the timestamps to see whatever interests you the most. All right, let's open that up. Okay, here we have, ah, this tells you how to put it in the box, I guess. Okay, uh, that's a problem for future me. Um, later on. Okay. Oh, wow. What is, what's going on here? Okay. Oh, there's another birdhouse in here. So now I have three birdhouses. One for the German edition, one for the English edition, and then one here. All right. Now we have bird, as many birdhouses as we need. That is great. Um, and also like this is, oh, oh, we actually have dividers. Well, that is nice. We have dividers for the different interesting and we can also already see here the the other ones that will come like latin america north america and africa interesting cool oh, and antarctica down here so there will be lots more expansions of course and i will be very very happy about that cool that is nice actually i want to take one of those out you know what i am curious here um as i said you can use timestamps to skip forward you can also just uh, seek like like skip forward manually um in case you're not interested in all the details, but I just want to take a quick look at these punch board things here and see like the quality, but the quality will be good. I mean, that's quite an expensive box to get, right? Because you don't get any game with that box. So yeah, these are really, these are pretty thick and sturdy. Um, they have like a slight coating. These feel great. I don't know what recently used means. I have no idea, but I appreciate that. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let me just, um, let me put that aside for now. There we go. All right, and this, I don't know what goes in here. Um, here is some, like, the egg cuts, cutouts. I don't know what goes in here. So you can take this out, this tray, you can take that out entirely. And then, okay. Okay, interesting. And does that go to the bottom or is there something else there? Um, and, okay. There actually is something else there at the bottom. And that is just cardboard. Well, that would be quite heavy if we like fill that all up with cards, right? That would be pretty heavy, uh, but it looks nice. Look at this. And then down here, there is nothing under that insert. Okay, 
So we have like that insert here with like the stork and there is like a little bird over there as well. Um, so we can take out this thing here that is that is fixed to the outer box here. Okay. I don't know what goes in there. And then we have this box here. So let's take a look at this. So um, here we have like a larger tray for the bird cards. Will that fit all bird cards? I'm not sure, especially we have these dividers, right? So that means the cards will probably be put in here with the dividers, I suppose, right? Um, I have no idea where, what, where to put everything. And then here, so let's just open this up. Yeah, that just looks like the um, the regular trays from the other games, right? Uh, just larger, way larger. And different color as well. Oh, I know what's go what goes in the top, of course. In the top, they go the player boards. The player boards and also the play mats, because I, yes, I do have play mats. I will show those to you later. Okay. Um, and then here we have just different... Um, just different token trays here. Whatever goes in there, I will figure that out in just a few moments. And there are like two more of those. Uh, I guess like the food tokens go in here and the eggs, I guess. And here probably the player stuff goes in. Two, four, six, seven. Yeah, that's like we have all expansion, like the player, um, the player tokens go in there. And the way it looks like, uh, these are all rounded here. So yeah, these are rounded. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but we can actually take take out this stuff really easily. And here as well. That is great because that is also the same thing here. Because um, you want to give this to the players and say, okay, pick a color. And then they can say, oh, I want this one. And they can just take it out easily because it's rounded here. That is pretty good. Um, that is pretty good. So. And that, is that enough for all the food types? Maybe, or maybe that's the eggs, the different colored eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six, but that wouldn't be enough for all the expansions that were released in the future, no. I don't know yet. Um, I don't have to figure all of that out, where all of that, like what goes in there. But, so I gotta say, this box looks really nice. I am a little bit afraid about its sturdiness. Like that, this is really sturdy here. This is really sturdy, but this will have a lot of weight on it and this is just i don't know i hope that this will hold but i guess it will and i don't know what you know you put the player boards at the bottom probably and at the top you put i don't know the rules i don't know i have to figure that out but that is not your problem that is my problem now because if i take this out of the way just give me a second because we have the european expansion we have the base game we do have the Asia expansion, which is the newest one, and also the Oceania expansion. And I will put all of that now in that nesting box and see how that looks like. Yeah, and two seconds later, I'm done with organizing the Wingspan nesting box. Well, <laughs> it took a little bit longer than that. So I just still can't believe how big this thing is. I have no idea where I will put this in my apartment. I have no idea, but it, it, it's, it's glorious. It's glorious, it's huge, it's nice. There is room for everything. Um, let me just show you how I organized it. Um, it is bound to change maybe a little bit because I'm still not 100% happy with how I arranged the cards, but I will show you. So um, let's open this up. As you know, we have that top part that you can remove with these strings. Let me show you what I put in here. So at the very top, I put in all the rules for all the different games here, right? Including all of this stuff. So I got the, like the base game rules and Oceania here, and then Europe, and also Asia, of course. And I also put in like the quick start stuff for A Asia, and also the quick start package for uh, the base game. I still have this in this package here because I don't use the quick start stuff too much. Um, I might still sleeve the cards and maybe arrange it in such a way that I could actually show to new players, but usually I play with like all the expansions except for Asia. So I play with um, the base game, Europe and Oceania usually when playing the first game. And I know the game so much by heart that I can just explain it quite well to people. So all the rules, I have those at the top. Then here on the left, I have like all like the extra boards. Um, this is like the, the round gold tracker here with all the points for the base game. And I also have 
the um, board for the Asia for the do it mode and also for the flop mode. And then also I have like the dice tower, so to speak, and the and the card tray. Um, I have those from the Asia expansion. I also have those in here, just in case I don't feel like getting out the uh, everything, but I doubt that. And then here um, we have like the player boards. Usually you would put like the five boards here, um, like you can fold them like this, right? You put the boards like all on the right, or maybe if you're on the left and right, what I did, um, I actually have like five of the, orig uh, of the original Stonemaier Games play mats. Um, this here is the regular side. This is the side for the Oceania expansion, like when you use, the, when you use like the wild resource. Um, and um, then like these are five for the base game, right? Um, five players. And then I also have like the two um, player boards from the Asia expansion here, because first of all, they look different, right? And these look really cool. And also for the flock mode, so I can could actually play with up to seven players. Um, but if you don't have the play mats, which are definitely not necessary, they are nice, but they're definitely not necessary. Um, you can also just uh, put like in like five to seven boards here, depending on, um, if you have the Asia expansion or not. If you don't have the Asia exp expansion, it's enough to put five boards in here. If you do have the Asia expansion, you would need all seven, but I mean, the Asia expansion does come with two boards, right? Um, so that is just totally fine. Um, if you have the Oceania expansion, um, you should use the player boards, not from the base game, but actually from the Oceania expansion. So you have like the other side um, for the extended rules. And that is all I have in here. So put the player boards here, then we put um, like the extra boards here and then all the rules. You see there's still a little bit of room here. I'm still not quite sure what I want to do. I was also thinking of just moving the boards over there, maybe putting another um, putting another card tray in there. I'm not 100% sure yet. I'll see about that, what I will put in there. All right, then we, um, another thing I want to show you, um, you take this out like this to get to the next level. Um, but at the bottom, you probably saw that um, there are like these, uh, let me see if I can show you. There are these egg-shaped cutouts. Give me just a second. Uh, there we go, right? That means you can actually, like, when you want to get this stuff out, you can actually just um, push from the bottom there, and you see that you can easier get to um, the things in here, right? Because you can push it out. That's a really good design, just so that you know what these egg-shaped cutouts are for. All right, let me put that aside. And then we go to the second the second level and that is like the main level where you find like almost like pretty much everything you need right so um you have here like what i put here on the left i put the dice tray here um for the bird feeding tower um there's like i have like these everywhere in the box um because well as you know these are the most important components so i have them like everywhere there's one as well and at the top level as well i think and in here in these um, then I have like all these scoring pads here. It's a little bit tight for all four. It kind of works, but um, I have like the Oceania one, the one I use the most. I have that at the top here. But um, yeah, there's still a little bit of room for stuff. So yeah. Then here on the left, I have the bonus cards. You can see here, there's the divider for the bonus cards, right? And then in here are all the, well, bonus cards. Uh, right here, there are all of them. And um, so far I sorted them by um, by expansion. I'm not 100 show you how I want to do it because I usually play with all cards from all expansions except for Asia, as I said, because Asia I use for that two-player game. So um, I'm not 100 sure. I might not need all these dividers later on here for the cards, which I will show to you in a minute. So you can see here, here you can see that um, I have like all the dividers here. I will show that to you in a second. And then here, let me just put that down again. So like this, okay. And then here. Um, this one, I have all the Automa cards in here, right? Just have all the Automa cards here to play the game solo. And then here on the left, I have like all the dividers we don't need at the moment because there will be more expansions later on. I don't have any promos so far, so that's why that is still there. And then Antarctica, Latin America, Africa, and oh, I pulled that out of that one here. Um, but these, uh, these expansions will come later, right? Um, so these dividers are not necessarily needed at the moment, so I will just put them right here for now um all right and then uh let's look at the right at the right it's pretty easy you just saw that i have all the dividers there right um for oceania is here at the very bottom 
and then Europe, North America, and recently used is pretty interesting. So if you want to shuffle through the decks a little bit more, right? You can like, like when you play a game, like all used bird cards, you can put behind the recently used ones. So you have some new bird cards for the next game. That's pretty interesting. Apart from that, I just have like all these, all my sleeved cards for all the birds here. Um, I'm only semi happy with that because um, as soon as more expansions come with more cards, they don't fit here anymore. So I quite know what to do. Um, I was thinking about using this as well, but then I don't have room for the for the bird tower, but there might be room at the bottom for the bird tower. I'm not 100% sure how I wanna do that yet. So it is future proof, I suppose, but I'm not quite sure yet how to fit everything in here. So this is subject to change. I might still switch a few things around. Um, I also might do a few different things here, as you see at the bottom left, like these cards always like, um, they always slide around when you actually like move the box too much. So I don't quite, I'm not quite sure yet what I would do here. So yeah, might be, still be subject to change. In the middle, I'm pretty set actually with, with uh, what's in here. Um, so I have like this mainstay here. You see, this is really nice because this holds everything you need for all the players. Let me just open this up. Okay, now I'm, it's easy to open up. I'm just too stupid now. There we go. So, there we go. So here you have the um, the start starting player tokens. That's the regular one. That's the one from the Asia expansion. Um, so there is actually like um, a place to put them here, which is really cool. I love that. And then here you have like all the player colors. Um, I have the black and white ones here because these are from the Asia expansion. And then I have all the gold round tiles, um, which I actually put the wrong way, I think. Yeah, I need to put them the other way. Um, and then here we have the base game dice and here we have the Oceania dice. Um, oh, actually that's why it needs to be this way. That's how I organized it, right? Um, right here are the, um, the base game dice and here are the Oceania dice. So it's really cool that you actually have room for both because if you don't play with the Oceania expansion, you need the regular dice and there's room for both. And these are all the gold tiles here and I have separated them by expansion for now just because I haven't played with the English version too much yet because I usually play the German one, but that will change now that I have everything in place. Then here at the bottom, this actually came. Uh, you might've seen that uh, just a few minutes ago. This came with the missing box. There is room for more cards. So I might use that for more cards actually. So I might, I'm thinking about maybe I'm not putting cards in here, but something else and putting like the Ottoman gold cards in here. Um, or I will take this out completely and instead I will put this in here and put the uh, bird feeder on top. Might also do that and I have more room here for cards. So I might also do that. I'm not 100% sure yet how I wanna do that. And then here on the right we have, like we have that three times. I divided everything like this. So um, like each um, tray has exactly the same amount of different colored eggs and everything. That will change when you play the game, but it's nice to have like all these colors here so you can actually put those on your birds um, any way you want to because that's what I do. I actually take a look at all the eggs and look at my birds and see like, okay, if I want to lay eggs, or not I, but if my birds want to lay eggs, which eggs am I going to put on them, right? <laughs> uh, that's just, I'm just intrinsically motivated to do that. So um, yeah, these are the three trays here. You see like all the components fit in here. Let me just open one up. And then um, you have like all the uh, food tokens here, um, including the wild ones from the Oceania expansion. And then you also have like the eggs here at the top. Wonderful, that works. And all I like that all the trays have the Stolmeyer logo. I think that is great. And then here, as I already said, that's the cards. And then you put everything back in here like this. Uh, there we go. Okay, that fits. And then um, you take this out. There is no string here, so you would have to take it out like this. And then when you take a look here, you see that in the bottom, uh, I put two more trays here. The middle one is empty for now. I still don't know what I want to do, but I like all these trays, right? So that's why I, I want to put them in there. Um, uh, what I did in the left one, that's the one for the European expansion. I actually put all the bird cards for the Asian ex for the Asia expansion, right? Um, so because these are usually used for the do it mode. And then you see there's a little bit of room still here. Um, it's not high enough for the bird feeder, I think. But here I have like the stuff here for the Asia expansion, right? Like for the six and seven player mode. Um, I have this, this in here. Then I have all the um, end of round references for all the expansions. Um, and then I also have like the do the duet markers here, uh, the yin and the yang markers here um, for 
the Asia expansion. And that fits actually perfectly here, as you can see. That fits actually pretty well. Um, so there is still is a little bit of room. So, oops, let's see what we can do with that. But there are more expansions coming, so that's fine. So you put that back in here, and then you just take the top tray, put that back here. So I might still move things around a bit because there is no fixed play spot for everything. In the inside of the box, you probably saw that there is like, um, these are like suggestions what you could do and you see that I kind of did it like that, mostly did it the way it is here, but not 100% happy yet, so I might still change a few things around, but um, if I do find a setup that is ingenious and much, much better than this one, I might record a short video, but otherwise, I think this is the setup I will go with for now. There might be small changes to that depending on what just, uh, what just, what I drill just establish in the future, so to speak, right? Yeah, and with that, you can close that back up and you have that huge box. I would have I would have appreciated something like something to actually be able to hold that because this is really heavy and it's really huge. I have no idea where to put this. This is besides uh, Mexico's Minis, my, the biggest box I have. So I'm not quite sure yet what I want to do with that. So let's see where we'll put that. I might put it where Mexico's Minis is at the moment and then uh, put my regular wingspan box someplace else, the German one, because I don't have the nesting box for the German version yet. And I don't know if I will get it, to be honest. I might keep the German version just in the main box with the Asia expansion and stuff, and I might use this as my main version for now. I'm not quite sure yet, because I don't know if I need two nesting boxes, but then again, it's my most favorite game of all time, and probably will be for a while, so <laughs> never know. You never know what I would actually do there. <laughs> All right, um, that concludes my uh, my review of the nesting box. I really, really enjoy this one. I think it's great. Um, there is a lot of room here. It looks wonderful. It is done really well. Nice component quality. Um, it's really sturdy. I like it quite a lot. Um, I will still have to see how to organize it with future expansions, but at the moment I'm quite happy with that. But you can organize it in any way you see fit and you like. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to thank all of you for your support, especially my patrons who are generously supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much for that. The biggest shout out goes out to Thakano, who is currently my biggest supporter. Thank you so much for that as well. I really appreciate that. If you also would like to support me on Patreon, you can head over there and check out the tiers I've come up with. Maybe you'll find something um, that you find worthwhile. But even if not, I'm just happy for any support um, that includes liking, commenting, maybe even subscribing. Um, that just makes my channel grow and me very happy. And also you can join my Discord server in case you would like to hang out with me and my community. All right, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the very next video. Take care, everyone. Stay safe and cheers.